that is going to be the value of my vertex. Now, the reason why I changed my table, and this is where a lot of students have questions. They get confused of why are you changing the table? Why couldn't you use negative two, negative one, um, one and zero? Well, let's go and use these numbers first and you'll kind of see what I had to do. Because again, remember, ladies and gentlemen, we want to be able to get both sides of the vertex. We want to get to the left side as well as to the right side. So therefore, we have that perfect symmetrical U-shaped graph. So that's why I understand what when I'm creating a table, I always want the value that's going to make my function zero inside of the function. I always want that to be middle. I want to pick points to the left as well as to the right of that. So what I'm doing when I'm trying to think of my table, I'm looking on the inside of my function. I'm saying, all right, what number do I need to do to make that to be zero? And again, you're going to probably have some more difficult equations, you know, that you're going to be working on. So what I, a tip that you can do is set whatever is inside your parentheses, set that equal to zero, and then go ahead and solve. X equals negative two. That is going to be the value of my vertex. That is going to be the point that I'm going to want to have in the middle of my table. Then I'm going to pick points to the left as well as values to the right to be able to find my different points. This is really important because a lot of students will see the plus two and they know that shifts it up when it's on outside the function. But when it's inside the function, they think they want it to go to the right. But actually, you can see physically working here that when I plug in a, um, a negative two, that's going to give me that vertex. So this graph is actually shifting two units to the left. It's the opposite. And I'll get to that a little bit later. And ladies and gentlemen, now what I want you to be able to see is, yeah, when I have an X minus a two, that's actually shifting the graph two units to the right. So it's important. And, but sometimes still students will get it confused. It doesn't matter how many times the examples we go over this students will still see, or still will forget these transformations. The difference is when we are adding or subtracting a number on the outside of the function versus when we're doing it on the inside.